Hi, this is Christy Ritz King from The Right Hand Mom, and this week's vlog mom question is, what is on your summer reading list? So I've kind of come up with a bunch of books, both nonfiction and fiction, that I've either already just read or I'm about to read this summer. Um, and I'll go through them quickly because there's a lot and I want you to hear them all. So I just finished on the fiction front uh, a book called Truth in Advertising by John Kenny. It's a novel. Um, which has a really great rich story, but also he just is hilarious. And if you have any experience at all in the PR, marketing, advertising world, it, there's the added element of just getting it, getting so much that, that business. So I loved that book. I would highly recommend it. I'm with my kids every night right now. We're reading To Kill a Mockingbird. We've gone back to uh, sort of the old school read a little bit before bed. It's just we haven't done that in a while, and I feel like these these moments are going to go quickly. They're not going to allow me to do this much, so we're reading that together every night. Um, other fiction, I'm in the middle, finally, of Cutting for Stone. I've started it and stopped it about a million times, and um, I finally have read enough now that I'm into it, and I get what everybody loves about it, and now I'm just kind of slogging through because it's a lot, but I, but I am enjoying it now. I'm not just reading it to say that I've read it, so that's good. And then the rest I have is... Um, Nonfiction or self-help, which is often times what I have. One by Brene Brown, whom I love. I thought it was just me, but it isn't. Um, she's a fantastic woman who writes a lot about, uh, this one's about shame and just sort of how to feel better about being yourself. So I've met her in person. I've heard her speak. She's phenomenal. And a friend of mine had that book and recommended it. So I borrowed that from her. The other one, I have not read this, but it's called The the Antidote, Happiness for People Who Can't Stand Positive Thinking. <laughs> and I thought, when I heard the title and was asked to review it, I thought, what a great concept. Like, just because you're not super excited, I, I feel like by nature I'm not somebody who is easily optimistic. It's definitely a choice of mine. I definitely wake up every day and try to focus on that. So I'm curious to see what uh, Oliver Berkman has to say about how you can be a happy person even if you don't feel like you're inherently a happy person. The next one is called Drinking Diaries. It's um, an edited book, a collection of stories edited by Leah Epstein and Karen Gersberg. And I've started this one. I haven't finished it. I've started it. And so far, it's pretty compelling. It's just a lot of um, different women's takes, either personal stories or you know, things that they've lived uh, having to do with alcohol, and it just fit on so many levels for me that I was curious about it, and so far, so good. I'm excited about what I've already read, and I can't wait to finish. And then the last two are sort of a little different. Um, one is called the Simple, sorry, Specific Carbohydrate Diet. I've been doing a lot of stuff recently on um, eating for inflammation, eating for chronic illness, eating to try to avoid inflammation and chronic illness. And the specific carbohydrate diet is something where you don't have to cut everything out of your life. You can still have things like pancakes and waffles and pasta, but they use different flours and try to stay away from certain things. Um, it's great for Crohn's disease. It's great for anything that's uh, either autoimmune or digestive. So I'm really curious to try some recipes this summer from um, the specific carbohydrate diet cooking for by Erica Kerwin. That's a good one too. And then last but not least, I love... Holmes on Holmes, Mike Holmes from um, television, and I was uh, offered the book Mike Holmes Kitchen and Bathrooms, and I don't know that all of you know this, but we live in a house that we um, are renting to own, so, you know, good or bad, we're going to spend a little bit of time in this house kind of getting to know all of its faults, and then we have to buy it, <laughs> so we are very uh, aware of the fact that we're going to have to do some serious work on this place, starting with our kitchens and bathrooms, hopefully. Um, and so this book is fantastic because it's obviously all his expert ideas and but also advice on how to do it yourself or what to ask and what to look for if you're getting somebody to do it for you. So I have a feeling that Mr. Holmes and I are going to become quite close in the next couple of years and I'm excited that I have this book at the ready for when I need it. So there you go. That's my summer reading list of a little bit of fiction, a little bit of nonfiction, a little bit of trying to make myself better both through uh, reading and and through cooking and through home projects and everything else. So if you have something great that you've just read or something great that you're dying to read, leave it in the comments below. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. And there's also a link at the bottom of here with a lot of other great women and a lot of other great reading lists. So take a check out those too. Have a great day.